see that little tan line <laughs> from wearing a hat to protect my scalp from the sun. What's up everybody, it's me, Powell. Hi. Today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately and probably if you clicked on this video on your mind as well. And that is Haters Back Off on Netflix! What the heck? Production just wrapped. Now it's time to edit the show and get it that much closer to us being able to watch it. A little bit about me, I've been watching Miranda videos and thus Colleen's videos since April of 2009. So... <laughs> math, hold up. So for, se for seven years, about, is how long I've been watching. And fun fact, when Colleen was doing Vlogmas in 2010, might have been the first time she did Vlogmas, I commented on one of the videos on her Facebook, and she gave me a little shout out in the video. Boop, 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 boop. Powell? Hey, what's up? Oh. <laughs> I suggested that we ask her questions. And kinda, isn't that what Colleen's Corner became? I'm not giving myself credit for it, I'm just saying. But then Colleen's Corner didn't start for like two more years. Okay, anyway, I thought it would be fun to make a video with my predictions of what Haters Back Off will be like because there have been hints here and there. Having watched Miranda for so long, I've just been wondering about what the show will be and I think I might have some good predictions. Maybe they're all gonna be wrong. The fun thing is, it doesn't really matter. I don't think anybody's gonna watch this, so. <laughs> So I've been taking notes. Wing, 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 wing. If you're like me, you probably watch all of Colleen's live streams. That's like my favorite thing to do. Just get in bed, some chicken nuggets, and watch the live stream when it's happening, or just re-watch them. Because it feels like she's right there talking to you. It's amazing. The internet, man. Man. Why did I just say man? What just happened? I don't know. My apologies. Okay, so I took some notes on what I've noticed, because there's been little sprinkles of knowledge as we go on. What we know is, the show is called Haters Back Off, it's on Netflix, production started in mid-April and they wrapped last week. I should have gotten the official dates. Colleen and Miranda announced the show on January 14th, and since then we've had a little bit more knowledge as the time has gone on. We know who Miranda's uncle is, we know who her mom is, and we know who her best friend is, which is interesting, and I'm really intrigued about the best friend role. Also, a little better, I couldn't go in an audition for it. Well, it's okay. <laughs> We also know that Colleen is the creator, an executive producer, a writer, and a star of the show. Is that all the things? Wowie jowie. That's a lot. Welcome to 2016, people. Internet and traditional content merging. Chris Ballinger is also an executive producer, he's also a writer, and he also helped create and pitch the show. Amazing. Chris said in one of his Q&A videos that they brought on writers over a year ago to start developing this show to pitch to networks, and they pitched to all of the networks you could think of, and really wanted Netflix to be the one to pick it up, and they did, which is like, uh, dreams coming true, that's amazing. Yes. Also, I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but I've been watching Netflix original series here and there since the announcement of the show, and like, you know how it goes boom, boom, Netflix at the beginning? I'm just really excited to see that, and then the haters back up. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it, this is so exciting. I knew I was this invested, but now that I'm talking about it, hmm, feels good. The Haters Back Off is a half hour series, and Chris said that's anywhere between 25 and 35 minutes, and they're aiming for like 28 minutes per episode. I remember Colleen saying that it's not a sitcom, and she keeps saying it's like nothing we've ever seen before. It's like no other TV show, which makes so much sense because there's Miranda like anybody we've seen before. No. I'm just so curious that, like, what it, what, what is it? Here's a prediction I have. I feel like it's going to be similar-ish to Pee Wee's Playhouse. My mom used to watch it when she was in college, kind of like her and Miranda. He was an eccentric, weird, crazy character <laughs> in his time, and now Miranda's kind of like that for us. I remember there were a lot of special effects in Pee, Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> and I know Chris and Colleen have said there's a lot of special effects. So what does this mean? Colleen has said that the show is about Miranda's life becoming a YouTuber. She's also said with that there will be some YouTubers in the series. It's a vague clue. I feel like maybe Joey Graceffa. I guess if YouTubers are going up to Vancouver, they've been strictly told not to share it on social media. If they have shared it, then I didn't do my research and I apologize for that. 
I haven't seen any clues about any of those YouTubers being in Vancouver, but apparently they are. I think, if you don't know Jim Caruso, he was a really early big fan of Miranda and is really well known in New York, and that's how she was performing a lot in New York City in the early days. I feel like Jim Caruso will make a small appearance. That would make sense in my mind, because I remember him always posting Miranda stuff and seeing pictures. There is a prediction. Also, we know that Colleen cut her hair, or Chris and Jessica's kids cut her hair, <laughs> for production of Haters Back Off because Miranda's hair was a lot shorter when she started out. This is like <laughs> my big prediction. Are we going to see Miranda in Haters Back Off without lipstick on? What the heck? Did she always wear lipstick? I bet that's a question we're gonna get answered which I'm excited about. This is gonna be so cool. Just like Colleen said, it's been in her head for almost 10 years and now it's like it's been growing for that long and now it's out and it's going to be consumed by us that have all fallen in love with Miranda and love her and Colleen, but now we get like some fun explanations and backstories and foundation for this crazy character that we just immediately took to liking. I'm so excited. If I was still in college, this would be my thesis. Oh, baby, I would have gotten an A and not a C. We also know that there is a team of writers for Haters Back Off. It's not just Colleen and Chris writing it themselves. It's functioning like a real TV show, because it is a real TV show. So I'm interested to see how the writers that aren't Colleen and Chris complement Miranda as a character because odds are some of them may not have been super familiar with Miranda or they're just not super fans like we are. I know what I would have brought to the table and the writers would have been like, boo, that would have been really cool. Hello, I will write for the show too. <laughs> of course we'll be getting to know Miranda's mom, her uncle, and her best friend, which I'm oddly nervous about because they've been these distant figures forever. Still very prominent in her videos, but just not on screen, and so I'm like a little anxious to meet them. <laughs> so Chris also said in one of his videos that they're making sure that the show reflects what people like about Miranda, which makes sense, right? He also said there will be little inside jokes here and there for people that really know Miranda, which I like because that sounds like a challenge to me that I accept. Obviously they spent a lot of time writing the scripts we saw on both of their vlogs and Snapchat and things like that leading up to production, but also we know that Miranda is super improvisational and Colleen has a brain that's always going, especially when she's on stage as Miranda, that anything can happen. So I'm interested to see what kind of improv slash scripted stuff, what that balance will be, because I think both will be super brilliant and I guess we won't be able to tell specifically what the improv moments are, or we will, because we know Miranda really well. Or we won't because Colleen's just a great actress. You know what? Anything's possible. We also know the show comes out this year. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Production for Haters Back Off has been in Vancouver because as you know and as I know, Miranda is from Tacoma, Washington, which is still so random and funny. And she said it a lot more at the beginning and it was like, okay, yeah, this character is specific. And I think it's so cool that that small aspect that doesn't really play a role in her live shows or videos now is going to be played out in the show, which is really cool. I think people that have been watching Miranda for so long and have kind of seen the growth of the character and the fan base and everything will be really, really validated by the show. It's going to be so much of the backstory, which is so cool. So thanks, Colleen, for having this great idea. And Chris and everybody. I want to know everybody on the set. I want to know them too. Hello. Also in a live stream, Colleen said that she wants to try and get viewers involved in the show. And my only guess for that would be that maybe there are pictures with fans in the background. That's my guess about that. Because I don't know how else they could be unless fans, fans, unless fans were flown up to be in the show. In which case I must have missed my, my invitation in the mail. She says she has a big announcement to make at VidCon, I'm guessing. It will be maybe a trailer. Oh my gosh, it's probably gonna be a teaser trailer at VidCon. You guys, somebody go and and FaceTime me. That's, I think that's what it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be a teaser, because now they're editing. Okay, so those are just my musings about Haters Back Off. I am obviously a huge fan of Miranda and Colleen, and so are you, so thanks for watching and making it through this video. If you like, this kind of video or me in any way, maybe go watch my other ones. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you do want to see more. I love ya. Thank ya. Bye bye.